Good morning, happy Friday, it's the weekend, yes. So it's 6.15 and I'm getting ready to clean up my refrigerator before I head off to the farmer's market and then to Target and probably Wegmans, probably Wegmans as my regular grocery store. And then I'm going to lunch, Mexican with the BFF today, so gonna be a good day some sushi for dinner just love my sushi so yeah first though gotta be an adult clean out the refrigerator <laughs> have to throw anything away um, so yeah good thing everything's cleaned know what I have it's okay let's go to the store well change of plans Mike texted and he says he's got to get out of the house even though he's out of the house working every day he just needs something fun to do um, so he's suggested going out to dinner tonight so he's going to take me to Longhorn Steakhouse tonight. He picked. That's highly unusual of him. I like it. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going to head for dinner. And so I'm getting out for lunch and for dinner. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, so now I'm not picking up sushi or anything today. Um, and it decided it's going to snow a little more again. And of course, I'm in Little Mazda here trying not to slide and I'm gonna make my way to market even in this shitty weather see how good this thing can do because honestly this car has really never been in the snow like never I've never had to go out anywhere in it in the snow um, we did put new tires on it last year so they're hardly even broke in at this point so yeah keep your fingers crossed wish me luck Hmm. Back from the farmer's market. So it didn't need much this week. So I picked up a dozen of free range jumbo eggs, a pint of blueberries, some asparagus, some romaine lettuce, lemons, and two tomatoes. Now it's off to Target. I'm snow covered. Had some money left on a gift card and love having a Starbucks in a Target. Oh, got my tea. Second cup today. Yeah. All right, just leaving my local grocery store, Stoppers of Kissel Hill. It's still snowing. <sighs> Heading home. Actually, gonna make a stop at. It's still Stoppers. Like, you can't even see how big this is to totally understand. But Stauffer's was started out as like a farm and garden center decades ago. Um, so I'm going to run in here to look for a spring flag for out front. Well, I found a flag and they were 20% off. So win-win. They're regularly $9.99 and they were on sale for $7.99. So I got one for spring. I already have one for summer because it was summer when we moved in there. 
Um, and I also found these, like, they have a small amount of clothing. They call it their fashion boutique area. <laughs> so, uh, where am I going here? I have to think about where I'm going because I had to reroute because there's an accident. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I found the most adorable pair of pajama pants. Oh, my. Yeah, and they were so soft. So, yeah, made out good. So, I have just enough time to get home do a quick grocery haul, put my clothes, clothes away, put my groceries away, and meet my girlfriend for lunch. Okay, here's my flag. So it is double-sided, it's a nice one. And the pink and purple is what I was looking for because that's what's in the colors of the wreath on my door. And then these are those pajama pants. Aren't they just adorable? Like the flamingo's bodies are pineapples. Oh, it's just so me. And even the tag is a flip-flop like oh so perfect so perfect okay so then at the grocery store there i got a bag of shredded iceberg lettuce two bags of ford hook lima beans two half gallons of vanilla almond milk some lime fruit bars four of the pete's cold brew coffees plum tomatoes a box of coconut almond crunch cereal and some rice blend which is long grain brown rice red rice wild rice and organic brown basmati rice to mix with my regular brown rice okay at target i picked up this rug this is the garage door going downstairs to the garage um and we had never had a rug for there so picked up a rug and then back out to the kitchen. I got some dish detergent, some bathroom cups, magic erasers, toilet bowl cleaner, two bags of the Tex-Mex trail mix, some K cups. I got a Neapolitan flavor and a honey blueberry flavor. My tea bags some light olive oil, peppermint patties, Mike's yogurt, two packs of socks. I bought these about a month ago, just a different color pattern, these Cuddle Duds brand. Oh my gosh, they're so soft and warm, I love them. And then I got a three pen, three pen, where did that come from? A three pack of just regular crew socks, they're a cotton blend, they're pretty soft too not as soft as deep but they're still soft and my socks are looking rough so little by little I'm getting some socks and then I got Mike's nasty tasting juices that are so good for him so two of the bolt house farms I got a carrot ginger turmeric and a green goodness and then four nakeds I got a red machine two green machines and a berry veggie and then a bottle of peroxide so that's it gold stuff refrigerator it's 11 22 i'm supposed to be at the restaurant at 11 45. Muh. the sun is shining so i enjoyed a great lunch had a chicken chimichanga and i'm back home and i got an email while i was out when i do when i did my new hire paperwork for the Department of Homeland Security. This paperwork takes hours to complete, hours online. And I did it last year, and then when I, the job had to be put on hold because of COVID, and I was rehired again this year, I had to sit and do the hours worth of paperwork. In fact, I have it in videos, a video from a few weeks ago that I had to do this. Well then, when it got changed by a month, and they changed my start date to March 1st, they told me I wouldn't have to do anything. They were just changing my date. I got an email today that somehow all of my paperwork got deleted and I have to do this all again. So, so much for a free weekend. I got to get this done this weekend so that um, they can print it out on Monday because I leave next Sunday for class. So, yeah either Saturday or Sunday I got hours of computer work to do 
So in the meantime, this is still Friday at 3.30. Um, Mike and I are going to go out to dinner, like I said, but we're not going until much later since I had a heavy lunch. I got to clean this spare bedroom. That was the only thing I didn't get cleaned yesterday. Um, so I got to clean in there and then vacuum our steps. And this is where I keep the spare computer that has all my login information for TSA on it. And it's all put away. This hasn't been touched since the kids left other than me putting some cleaning supplies in here and the towels and blankets and stuff that I washed are thrown there. And of course we put the bed back together because that converts into a king size bed. So yeah, I've got, I've got cleaning to do in here. Let me see you. Where is my fine looking man taking me to dinner? Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. Sorry, ladies. He's taken. Where do we have to film? Because uh, I can. So when we're old and wrinkled and everything's saggy, we can see how hot we used to look. date for the night. Always letting me eat is bread and a salad. Just kidding. Oh my. Look at that. That's perfection. Mike has a steak hiding behind all the trees. Did I mention I like broccoli? Yeah, I think you do. Good morning and happy Saturday. As usual, breakfast is in the pan. So Mike's got an omelet, Canadian bacon, and tricolor peppers. 
And then I'm going to put some smoked aged cheddar cheese on this form. That is a lot of avocado there, Michelle. But it's going to be so good with my eggs. Mm-hmm. All right, here's Mike's breakfast. Canadian bacon, tricolor peppers, smoked aged cheddar cheese in an omelet with sliced avocados. And my breakfast, two eggs over medium, avocado, and Dave's Killer seed bread. And a glass of tomato juice. I'm with Mahan. Just did a Walmart pickup order. Now he's taking me to Harbor Freight because he really knows how to make me feel loved. Mm. <laughs> it's your favorite place. I hate Harbor Freight. I hate it too. It stinks in there. Do y'all have Harbor Freights? They smell on the inside. It's like this horrible, strong rubber odor. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it makes me gag a little. Mm. That's maybe a plus for wearing masks. Maybe it'll cut down on the smell. You need a respirator. Really. <laughs> we need the N95 masks for Harbor Freight. <laughs> I also got entertained at AutoZone. Right down from Harbor Freight. He's good to his woman, that's for sure. Alright, back from our few little morning errands. Got my Walmart pickup order. Of course, they didn't have some of my stuff, but that's normal. Um, they did do a couple substitutions. Uh, the only thing that I wouldn't allow them to substitute was I ordered the organic Italian seasoning, like jarred seasoning, and they wanted to substitute for non-organic. And I said no, so I can pick that up at another store. I know Target carries it. But they were giving out little gift bags this morning. So they handed Mike this little gift bag, and in it we had... Um, a trial of the scent boosters, some stuff you put in water, an immune support drink mix. I don't know what these are. Apple Jacks Jumbo Snacks. Apple Jacks Cereal Jumbo Snacks. <laughs> some Eucerin brand body and face cleanser in a little bottle. Peanut butter crackers. Cheez-Its. Everybody loves Cheez-Its. And some Ritz. Cheese crispers. Then my order, I ordered three of these, but they only had one, so they substituted two of this scent. I've never smelled it before. I hope I like it. These are the scent boosters for your laundry. Quart storage bags. Some protein pasta. Got Mike all stocked up on coffee. Um, I bought the two boxes yesterday that you saw from Target and these three today. Um, tomorrow he finishes up all the Christmas flavors, so then this starts all over. Two containers of peanuts, bagels, and more of his naked juice. Two green machines, two blue machines. We're eating again. This is a hot pepper and onion turkey sausage with peppers and onions fried up with it that Mike's having. And my homemade baked beans. You sharpen that knife because you're ready to carve. Oh, look at the juice flow. Man, for turkey it seems like a lot of juice. All right, dinner's over. My shrimp was excellent. And I had the sauerkraut with it and some hot pickles. So now we are headed to the mall in Lancaster. I've got to get black pants for my two weeks of training. All my black pants that I have 
they won't let me wear leggings obviously but my dress pants won't work with the colostomy bag so we're going shopping for black pants so my man is getting ready to get in the car now off to the mall well we still haven't made it to the mall we went to pet boys this man really is entertaining me today he's looking for hose clamp pliers so we're not having any luck with that now we're I dropped him off in front of Dick's. He's running in and looking to see if they have any 9mm ammo. He was able to find some at the Dick's in York the other day. Just by chance he happened to go in looking for gun cabinets and they were unpacking a box of ammo. Of course we're limited to two. Um, we went to Dick's in York last night when we went to dinner because they're right there at the restaurant. They had none. So we're here at the Dick's in Lancaster. See if they have any. The chances are slim to none. But while we're here we're going to check. So I guess when we finally leave here, we're going to the mall. Still didn't make it to the mall. All right, I think I'm gonna end this video here. The mall was a success. Four pair of pants that will work for my training and another white shirt. So I'm good for wearing black and white for days and days and days and days. Mike was even a successful trip. He found a shirt that he can use for work and some undies. So yeah, it was a good day. And look, there he sits. <laughs> All right, see you in the next video. Bye.